Rob, I guess I'll start off by saying thank you very much for taking the time. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you. First of all, congratulations. What a, what a great timing for a great business. I mean, the bike business is on fire. My biggest issue is a is supply chain issue. As you know, COVID hit everybody hard. Right now for me, I was talking to Giant, which is the largest manufacturer of bicycles in the world, and they won't be able to get me bikes until January 2022, right? And so um, what advice would you give me in order to address that issue as far as um, getting more product into the shop so I can um, sell and rent to the customers in my area? There are two issues typically in business. One is internal that you can control and one is external that you can't control, right? If you can't get bikes, you can't sell bikes. My question would be, is there anything you can do besides sell bikes? Can you start selling more services? Can you rent bikes? I've concentrated on merch. So we have these t this t-shirt line and I have a couple more designs that we've been selling online and we do pop-ups to, to at least get the name of the shop out there and let people know we, we, we provide merch. I mean, it's a beautiful t-shirt. Like whoever designed that for you, fantastic. Like you did, really? Wow. It's great. Thank like it's, it's not good, it's friggin' great. Like Thank it's you. a great, great design. But you're not going to make enough money off merchandise to sustain the shop, right? right. And at the end of the day, biz businesses don't get in trouble because of accounting, supply chain, business get in trouble because of lack of sales. The uh, other thing was actually really thinking about uh, manufacturing bikes here in South LA. There are bamboo bikes with, which are sustainable and I'm looking at, at, into that. But right, the, the biggest thing though is, is you know, finances, the resources to actually start to do that. I like the idea of the bamboo bikes. That's really interesting. I've never heard of that. Um, but is that price point work in your store? Like, are they more expensive or are they the same price point? No, um, they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like the more popular they become and more accessible they are, um, the price point will come down. You can get bamboo anywhere, so we could literally make bamboo bikes here in, in South LA and not have to import them from anywhere else. What's the average price of a bike you sell, used or new? Average used price of the new bikes is like five, six hundred dollars. For used bikes, we're looking at like uh, okay. three hundred dollars and under. Always be careful that you're not selling above your market. Meaning if your average market price is $500 for a bike, don't assume that your existing client base will go up to 800 or 700 or 650. So you just gotta be really careful with that. Instead of starting a manufacturing shop, what if you bought used bikes, fixed them up, repainted them, made them you know, nicer, prettier, because I bet you your margin would be higher also. Yeah, so we did that for a while until the issue became um, parts, like chains were like available. It took me like four or five months to get 26 inch tubes, you know, so and those are very popular. Right. So beach cruisers are very popular, uh, mountain bikes are popular, and those are the sizes of the tires and the tubes. And those tires were not available at all for a while. You got to sell something. I don't know what that something is, but you got to be selling stuff because I don't think the supply chain issue is going to get fixed anytime soon. We have the jump bikes. I don't know if you're familiar with that Uber had bought out and that company's out of business. I have some friends on the East Coast that have 3,000 of those bikes. So we're working on getting those bikes here so we can start a program where people can actually, we can do tours with those bikes at least like 20 to 30 at a time. So to, just to keep the name of the shop going and doing tours and keeping people active within the bike um, industry right now until the, we, we can figure out how we can get more bikes to sell. I love the idea of the tours, right? Because that's a recurring revenue base. Does anybody ride bikes in LA? They are now. <laughs> I think on a long-term basis, people are gonna ride more bikes and you just gotta survive until the supply chain fixes itself. You're obviously an extremely creative guy who also has a business sense. Right. So even just getting to know you for a few minutes, 
there's nothing from a personality perspective that should stop you from being successful. Cheers. Thank you so much.